Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Crafting with Catherine. Since it's October, I wanted to start making my Minecraft world a little bit spoopy. So in today's episode, I want to decorate the Rainbow Village and my brand new neighborhood for Halloween. And I also want to build a haunted house. But of course, before we get to building or decorating, let's head on over to the art museum. So this week, we have some artwork from Ariel, Ashla, Ada, Axel, Butterfly, Layla, Lexi Wolf, Michaela, Missick, Revaliqua, Rossi, Vera, and Devane. If you want to see your art featured in the art museum, I just want to let you guys know that I'm no longer accepting submissions through Twitter or Instagram, and instead I made a brand new email that you can send photos to. That email is going to be listed in the description box of all of my videos because I just found that Twitter and Instagram was kind of confusing and hard to keep track of. So I'm hoping this email will be easier for everyone to use, especially those who don't have social media. Okay, now let's start decorating the Rainbow Village for Halloween. Now I mainly want to decorate in this central area by the tree and the pond. So let's add some hay on either side of the tree. So we could put some over there. We could put some over here. Then we could add some hay piles. We can also add a cute little scarecrow. Then we definitely need to place some pumpkins, so let's put some right there. We can have one right here. We can place another group of pumpkins over here. And we can put another one over here. Let's add some more hay bales to the front over here. Then we can add some on this side. And then we can put another pile of hay over here. I also have this really cute little hanging ghost that I think I want to place in all of the trees. Let's start by adding some ghosts to the central tree. Now for some reason I can't just put these wherever I want so I think I need to add some blocks first. And then if I put it here it should work. There we go, okay let's just get rid of these. And now we have a cute little ghost. The ghost kind of looks like it has wings. <gasps> Wait, maybe it's a ghost bird and I'm putting them in all the trees so it's like all of the dead birds that died. <gasps> That's really creepy. Let's add some more creepy little ghost birds over here. And then we can add another one up here. They look so cute, but you know, now that I'm thinking that they're like little dead ghost birds, they're kind of like weird and creepy. But I guess that's kind of the point of Halloween, so it's fine. Look at them. Look at them back there behind me just creeping. Let's put some fairy lights in between the buildings. So we can do some on this side. And then we can add some over on this side. Ooh, we should definitely add some to the trees. So let's put one over here. Let's place some in this tree. And we definitely have to add some to the center tree. There we go. Oh, that looks so cute. I love this tree so much. All right, so I think this area looks pretty good. And now that we've added some hay bales, pumpkins, scarecrows, ghosts, and fairy lights, let's go ahead and decorate the neighborhood. Since we're decorating for Halloween, I thought it would be perfect to add some bowls of candy to each house for the trick-or-treaters. So we can add one to the pink house, the red house can get candy corn, the yellow house can get this candy, then maybe we'll give the green house some candy corn, the orange house can have the rainbow candy, then purple can have candy corn, and blue can have the rainbow candy. Okay, now let's add some pumpkins. Let's put some more over here. Then we can put some on the front porch of the pink house. And let's also add some pumpkins to the red house. Now we can add some cobwebs. We definitely need to add some more of these little ghosts. Let's add one to the green house. We can give one to the orange house. Then we can put one in this tree. And let's put one at the pink house. I also have these creepy little candles. So we have a spider candle and a skull candle. Let's put some creepy skull candles over here. We can put some more by the pink house. Then we can put a little spider candle outside the yellow house. And we can also put one by the red house. Ooh, then we can add some like creepy gravestones and we can make like a little death hole spot. <laughs> and now we can add some fairy lights. So this house can have the green, orange, and purple lights. This house can have the pumpkin lights. Then we also have some ghost lights. And we can also add some witch hat lights. Oh, oh look, a cow. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but this neighborhood feels a little bit empty. So let's go through the comments and add some people. So let's add Owen. 
Then we have Gia, David, Alyssa, Avery, Kaylee, and Melissa. Now that we've added some people and decorated our neighborhood for Halloween, let's go work on the haunted house. Alright guys, so here is my haunted house. As you can tell, I built it in the middle of a swamp, so it's full of alligators and just creepy things, which makes it the perfect location. So since I built this house in the middle of a lake, I added a dock to the front, then I have a porch that wraps around the entire house, and this is actually a little spot for a creepy graveyard. Now when you go through the front door, this is kind of like the grand entrance. Then when you go up the stairs, it leads you to this small room. And as you can see, I have two different ladders because I just made two different ways that you can get to the second floor. So let's go up this ladder. Now the second floor is a bit of an open concept plan. So we have this room that's connected to this one and this one over here. Then we have a cute little balcony area. There's actually another room over here. So if we go up the stairs, this is kind of just like the little lookout tower. Then if we go back down the stairs and we go over here and up this ladder, we actually have another room up top. So we have this little balcony area that you can come out to and this small room over here. Okay, so those are all the rooms in my haunted house. Now let's go ahead and decorate it. Okay, so the first room that I wanna make is a potion room and I feel like this room would be perfect for one. So let's put this table over here then maybe we can add some upside down stairs as tables and we can have a crystal ball and some spilled potions. Let's add some hanging potions above like this. And then we can add some potion shelves on either side of the door. Now I want this room to be the enchantment room so I'm gonna go ahead and add some bookshelves all along the walls. There we go, and now we can just add an enchantment table in the center of the room. That looks so cool! Okay, and now I just want to add some more potion bottles in these open areas, and then I also want to put a cauldron somewhere, so maybe we can add that over here? Yeah. Now because I don't have doors, I want to add some vines over these openings, so that way it's kind of closed off, but you can still walk through. I feel like the walls in the potion room are a little bit empty, so I'm going to put these somewhere else and I just want to add some shelves all along the walls. That looks a bit better. Now let's put the hanging potion bottles under here like this. We can put some more on this side. And now we just need to fill up all of these shelves with potion bottles. Now that the shelves are all full of potions, I just wanted to put this somewhere else. So let's get rid of this and let's put it on the floor instead. That way we can have a spot for a brewing stand. Let's add a carpet to the middle of the room. And then the last thing I wanna do is actually replace these upside down stairs with the heart of transformation block, just because I think it's really cute. And when you turn it on, the heart turns blue and it matches my floors. Okay, now I actually want to add another floor over here. That way we can have space for a bedroom. Let's go up into the bedroom and we can add a canopy bed in the middle of the room. And then we can add some creepy little wall lights above the windows. Then maybe below the bedroom we can put a small kitchen. So let's add some counters along this wall. Then maybe the sink can go here, the oven can go over here, and the fridge can go in the corner. Then we'll just add some cabinets on top and we have a little baby kitchen. Let's add a little black and white checker patterned carpet. And then because we have this open area, I feel like this would be the perfect spot for a table and some chairs. So let's add a table right here and then I have these really creepy tall chairs that we can add around the table. Look how weird those are! It is perfect for a haunted house because they're so creepy looking. 
Now if we go this way and we go all the way upstairs, I feel like this tiny little room over here would be perfect for a bathroom. So we can put the shower over here, then the toilet can go over here, the sink can go on this side, and the toilet paper can go in the middle. Now if we go all the way back downstairs, I want to make this room over here a living room. Okay, so I want to add a fireplace on this wall and have some seating over on this side, but this ladder is kind of in the way, so I think I'm just gonna get rid of it. And then we can just keep this main one to get upstairs. Okay, so I'm just gonna make the fireplace real quick. There we go, now let's put the fire inside and we have a fireplace. Now let's put some fireplace tools over here. And then we can just add a little black couch and a small carpet in the center. Now for this entrance area, I want to add some of these candle holders because I think they look really creepy. So we can add some down there and we can add some more over here. Then I have this really creepy cat clock, so let's put that over here. And then we can add some trophy bears and zombies to the wall. Add some zombie heads and then some bear heads and then zombies and then bears. And then let's just add a small carpet to the center of the room. Let's add some creepy skull candles to both sides of the front door. And then let's spawn in some bats. Look at that little guy, he's so cute! Okay, now let's go decorate the outside a little bit. So we already have these little skull candles and pumpkins. But let's go over to this side yard and make a creepy little graveyard. So let's add some of these creepy little tombstones. And then we can make the little dirt spots. And then maybe we can add some more spider webs. And then I want to add some pumpkins over to the front over here. And then of course we need to add our creepy little ghosts. Alright guys, so this is the finished haunted house. But before we go on a tour of the inside, I'm gonna go ahead and make it nighttime. Ooh, now everything looks spoopy. The only way to get to the haunted house is by boat. So you would take your boat and you would park it over here by the dock. So this is the front of the house. We have some cute little decorations set out. And then on the right, we have our creepy little graveyard. Now when you go inside, this is the main entrance area. If you go upstairs and to the left, this is the living room. And then if we go all the way up this ladder, this is the potion room. Then over here, we have our enchanting area. On the opposite side over here, we have some seating and a little kitchen. Then if you go up this ladder, this is a small bedroom. Through these doors over here, you'll find the lookout tower. And then if you keep going up the ladder, you'll find the bathroom. All right guys, well that's gonna be it for today's video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.